Today is one of those days that, uh, like one of those big things. I'm gonna install the, my solar panels. And um, I bought two 160 watt flexible solar panels. And uh, I spent a long, a long time trying to figure out if I wanted to make them mobile or not, like removable from my ceiling, from my roof so that I could park somewhere, have my truck on the shade and just bring my panels out to the sun. And that's what I wanted kind of the most, but after trying to figure out how to make uh, the sliding panels or locking systems and this and that and the other, I kind of uh, just figured out that it was just giving me too much of a hassle and uh, I just kind of gave in to the idea that let's just make it simple time to clean up things I've learned about uh, the solar panels is that yeah those flexible solar panels they are really nice to work with they're really light and really easy to install straight on the roof of your car if that's what you want to do uh, if you do want to do that though you should know that they will heat a lot like they'll heat up a lot the structural beams of my roof uh, that were uh, straight underneath the the solar panels, they would be like skin burning hot, um, considerably hotter than the beams that were uh, not underneath where the the, the solar panels were. Um, they're really nice to uh, to be stealthy because it's just super low profile, and that's what I was going for. But um, yeah, if I were to do it again. I would probably look into maybe put a layer of cork or maybe something that would uh, kind of insulate it a little bit so the heat doesn't sink so much to the car itself. Um, now I'm just going to worry about insulating the inside and, and that's that's that, that's done. So, uh, but yeah, other than that, they, they came out really nice and uh, just, just hope they work really well too.